In the previous video, we have introduced a couple of changes to our road manager. Now we need to adjust our placement manager to fix the methods that return exception. And then we are going to be able to see the results. So let's open up the placement manager script. Okay. And what we will need to do here is we will need to create another dictionary. So let's copy the definition of this one and let's paste it below. And what we want to call it is structure dictionary. So this dictionary will simply store the, uh, will allow us to access the objects that are already placed on our map. This will be the reference basically to the model, to the game object that is seen on the map. So now we will need to find our methods that we have implemented in the previous video. And I think they are here. Uh, for me, this is get path between and remove all temporary structures. And I think we had another one called add temporary structures to the structure dictionary. So I'm going to cut those methods that were newly created and paste them below near this add temporary structures. So we have all the methods together. Great. So let's start, start with the get path between. So what we want to do here is simply call our grid search class that we have imported with the models. So let's create var result path and let's set it to be equal to grid search. So this is the class containing the a star, a star search. And what we can pass here is the grid, so placement grid. What we need to pass here is the start position. It will be a new point. And what we will pass here is start position dot x and start position dot z as its parameters. And also we need to have an endpoint, which is our position. So let's maybe rename it to end position. And we'll, we'll create a new point. And let's pass to it our end position dot x and end position dot z. Okay. And as the additional parameter, we can pass to it if this is an agent. Since this is not an agent, it is by default false. So this is the whole method. And what it will return to us is a list of point, which is the path that our A star algorithm has found. Let's right click on it and go to its definition. And as I have described it before, it will simply take this grid and use the method called get adjacent cells. And if this is not an agent, it will check for empty and for road. Well, if this is an agent, it will only allow it to traverse a road cell. Okay, great. Let's use this blue arrow to go back to our placement manager. And we are here. So let's assume that we have received some kind of a path. And this is a list of points. But we need to return a list of vector 3 ints. Let's create a new list of vector 3 ints. Let's call it path equals new vector 3 ints. Great. And let's simply just loop for each. Tab tab to create this snippet for point in point. Let's, let's call it point in our result path. Okay. And we are going to loop through each of those points and we are going to add path. So our list of vector three ints add a new vector 3 int and we are going to pass the point capital x 0 and point capital y okay and at the end we are going to simply return the newly created list of vector 3 ints so our path great that's it for this method next let's implement the remove all temporary structure position uh, structures method so instead of throwing an exception here, we want to loop for each. And we want to loop for each var structure in our temporary root objects dictionary dot keys. Uh, sorry, uh, for values. Since values are our structure models. 
So this will return us the game object that stores that has as its child our road. And this structure model game object has the correct position on our grid. So what we can do now is call var position. And let's find this position by calling vector 3 int dot round to int. And we want to round the position of a structure dot transform dot position. So basically the position of the game object that our structure model component is on. And if we know this position, we can get our placement grid. So our graph access position dot x and position dot z and set it type to be cell dot empty. So we are resetting our graph to instead of containing a road at this position to contain an empty field. Next, we are going to simply destroy our structure dot game object. Okay, I have misspelled it. Great. And at the end, we want to simply clear our dictionary. So temporary road objects dot clear. And that's it. We have removed all the road objects from our map that we are currently placing. And now to prevent the removal of all the road placed on our map, we need to transfer our temporary structures to the structure dictionary to save them. So here again, we are going to loop through our dictionary. So for each tab tab var structure. And we are going to loop through the dictionary itself, so temporary road objects. And this is the key value pair. So we are going to call structure dictionary dot add and we are going to call structure dot key as the key so the position and structure dot value so the structure model game object and key with the capital k great now what we can do is call our temporary road objects dot clear after we have added all the objects to our structure dictionary so that should be it but i can see that we have made a mistake here in the placement grid i was calling position z and z when we want to call position x and z and set it to be empty let's save it now we should be able to go to unity okay let's press play and now let's try dragging our mouse so let's click here and drag and we can see that our road is being created now let's try changing the position of our endpoint and we can see that if everything works, it was correctly typed, we are creating a road however we desire and it is finding the shortest path between the start position and the end position. Now let's place another road that is cutting through this existing road and you can see that it has created us something but there was an exception here. So let's see what is going on, what is this error. Let's type down, let's click on the last uh, blue line and we can see that it was in the click event. So let's minimize this Visual Studio and let's go to the first line and this is it, add, add temporary structures to structure dictionary and apparently we are duplicating the key. So this means that we need to go to our road manager script. Okay, and let's slide down and let's see where could this issue exist. So here we are getting the placement manager get path between start position and end position and we are uh, not getting into account that some positions might be already taken by a road. So what we can do here is again slide up and copy this if placement manager check is position free. Okay, let's copy this. Let's paste it below in the for each statement and we only want to place objects if the temporary position is free. So if this isn't free, we are going to simply continue. Okay, let's save it. Let's go back to Unity. Great. So let's press play. Let's see what happens. We are placing one road, another one, and nothing was fixed here. So this doesn't work. Why is that? Well, let's stop the game and let's see our placement manager script okay and we had this method called modify structure i think that fixed our road prefabs 
So let's use this drop down list from the top right corner of Visual Studio and let's check the modify structure models method. And what we can see is the issue. The culprit is that we are only searching the temporary root objects if, they, if this dictionary contains this position. But now, since we have our structure dictionary, so let's paste uh, the same. So else, if our not temporary objects but structure dictionary contains this position, then we want to call on this structure dictionary position swap models. So now let's save it. Let's go back to Unity. Okay, so let's press play and let's see if it all works. And there is still one issue. We can s now place the, st the uh, street, but there is one issue. If we place here a street and we drag here the street and we decide, no, I do not want to place it like this and want to place it somewhere else, the prefabs that we have modified previously are now not taken into account when we are fixing the road prefabs since they are not neighbors of this road. And the old prefabs, we have cleared the list of road prefabs to fix at the beginning of our placement. So let's stop the game and let's visit our road manager. Okay. So let's slide down. We can see that first placement was correctly placed. And next, we are already clearing the road positions to recheck. So this is the list of previously found neighbors. Now we are clearing here it, but before that we should call on it and fix every road positions here. When we have placed a new road, maybe those needs to be fixed. So for each, and we are going to call var position in our road positions to recheck. And we cannot call it position, so let's call it positions to fix. And let's call our road fixer dot fix road at position and let's pass the placement manager and our position to fix. And now that finally should be it. So let's save it and let's go back to Unity. Okay, let's press play. And now we should see that if we are placing one road, placing the second one and going back, those prefabs, those neighbors are fixed. So we have the correctly placed road and now it all works as intended. That's great, we have created our road system and it is pretty good, it works uh, as intended. Now, in the next video, we will add a script to drive this UI so that we will be able to swap what we want to place and when we click house, we will be able to uh, uh, place a house and special will be able to place a special building. So see you in the next video.